Hello, my name's Carl. My call sign is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango, and I'm here. It's Sunday in the UK, and it's it's wet. But I've come out here to some high ground, and I brought with me and the aluminium push-up mast. I brought with me a couple of antennas for two meters. So I brought with me Slim Jim and the uh, Yagi, and I brought a power supply. I brought an FT817 and a linear amp for two meters. This is the first time I've used all of this together. So this is just a, a run out on the Sunday with a flask of tea to plug this equipment together and just see if it all works or not. So, um, <clears throat> the day's not going well. It's not going well, unfortunately, because um, I've had a couple of fails on the equipment. I brought with me the, the aluminium mast and the first issue I've, I've had today is with this. Let me just get this down and I'll show you the problem. This is only this, this is only the second or third time I've had this, I've had this uh, mast out in the air. But since I came back from the trip out the other day up in the Peak District, this plastic here is shattered. It, me it now means that this um, it is not gripping, so I, that section is unusable. The plastic's shattered. I'm just turning around. I think the plastic's broken because of the cold, because this was up in minus temperatures only a couple of days ago, and I think the plastic hasn't survived um, that uh, temperature range. This is going back next week, and uh, the the masters. These these themselves. Uh, close up of that. Um, they trying to tighten them up um, with your fingers is almost impossible, especially when it starts getting cold. The one that's at the top section, I've had to use a pair of pliers to tighten it up and then undo it because it's so tight. So really, it's not um, a, a a mass. It doesn't it hasn't survived three trips out, so it's it's a pile of junk. So that's going back. I didn't bring an SW meter with me and a power meter because um, the the antenna, the 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 small Yagi antenna that I've got. So the Yagi is, is one that I've had in the back garden and I used to do satellite stuff with it. Uh, it used to be on a rotator but it's sat there for about a year now and it hasn't been used. So I brought it in the house, checked the soldering joints, um, cleaned them up a little bit, put some tape around them. But I didn't. I didn't do check the SWR at home. So when I came here, uh, and the SWR on the radio is looking quite, you know, looking a bit peaky, a bit high. But without a proper SDR, uh, but without a proper SWR meter, I don't know how much of the power that I'm putting out is coming back into the radio. And if I'm putting that into an amp, but I'm only going to be pushing about sort of two and a half, three watts from the 817 into the amp. So that's probably about 25, 30 watts from the amp. I'm not sure how much of that is going to come back into the system because I haven't got an SWR meter. So so I'm, I'm not using the Yagi because it's just it's just too much, too much of a risk really to push that. So that's in there. So I've been using the Slim Jim. And I made a couple of contacts on the Slim Jim and got some reports of the audio and how it's all working. So it's doing okay, um, but getting all of this set up for a simple Sunday afternoon soiree was um, uh, was a bit of a faff. At one point, I was like, "Well, I'm just going to go home and uh, go into the warm house." But we're here. I'm using this West Westflex. Um, that's really this is proper proper stuff it's really heavy maybe a little bit too heavy for the slim jim on the mast it might be a bit overkill but it's done the job um i don't think it'll ever be straight so i'm using the portable power uh, technology I could charge this at home, I could charge it on solar as well. This gives me, um, I think it's sort of 15 amps. If I was going to be really ramming this uh, with full 10 watts and getting 100 watts output on that, I'd have to be really careful about how much I'm going to be drawing off 
uh, power pack like this but seeing as though I'm only going to be drawing you know, I'm only going to be um, pushing about 40 watts out of this the draw through this system it, it will accommodate the draw and that for now There's actually the um, two meter contest on without the horizontal. I'm still picking stations up on the Slim Jim. I'm using it's probably about two and a half watts out of the FT817 into the amplifier. Uh, I really regret not bringing the SWR meter to get a proper reading on the horizontal antenna. You know, it may it may have been okay. It might have been okay to use. But I didn't want to take the risk, so I'm just working on vertical on, on single sideband. At least gives me a chance to uh, try out the equipment, or try out this arrangement anyway. Um, but I am disappointed with the uh, the beam, and disappointed with the uh, mast as well. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm packing up and going home. Got a few contacts in the log. Uh, I made some contacts on single sideband using the vertical I managed to get a couple of contacts on the two meter contest but I wasn't gonna hang around too long on that so yeah not not a bad trip out really um, a few contacts in the log um, tried out a few bits of new equipment and old equipment um, and uh, yeah some more improvements to be made especially um, selecting the good mass to use but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you again soon so bye for now